Hi everyone, we are gonna create Insta Stories. We're gonna create some highlight covers for them. And I'm gonna go through a few other little things along the way, so you might pick up some tips and tricks as well. Now, first rule is you have a personal profile or a business profile. So decide, decide what you're gonna do. We are focusing on a business profile. So that is open to everybody's eyes to see. And that's why we're gonna create these um, highlight covers because they really do look um, professional. So that's Sue B. Zimmerman's and you can see that she's got uh, about her uh, speaking, Instagram tips, a free guide and a blog. We're going to create some. I've already got some categories set up and I'm going to show you how to do the same. Now first things first, see the little man icon on the bottom right, you want to click on that. That, well, that's going to take me home. <laughs> that takes you home. We are going to go to our settings, which is this little cog, because we want to enable save to archive. So we're going to scroll down to story settings. Now make sure that you have got it save to archive enabled. That's it um, enabled now. So make sure you've done that and then your images that you upload are saved. And that's what we want to do with our um, highlight covers. So let's go back home, click the little man icon. And as you can see, I've already started. I've got my FM world in there. I'm no longer going to be having these ones that I did have on my cover. I'm going to be having them my branding colours. Now, um, create where you, you've got to think where you want them in place because I just uploaded them randomly and they weren't in where I wanted them to be. So let's go over to Canva. So make sure you've downloaded that app and then um, we'll go and do it. It's brilliant for uh, if you use an Android. I don't have an iPhone. Um, I rarely use my iPad, but I really want to show you how to do it if you're using it. Um, I use my laptop most of the time for Canva. But when I've done this, first of all, in um, Android, it has, along here, start a new design. It's already there for you. So we're going to have to create one. So it's custom. Now, we want the dimensions of 1242 by 2208 and that is the highlights this is the settings that it will give you on android or iphone for canva it just doesn't on the ipad so there you go that's your blank board as you can see i'll take you back these are my boards that i've already created i've used my branding colors as you can see and then i've just added another and i've done for youtube i've got my facebook group must read books I've got my kickstart training and I've got the FM products and now for you to do that to keep going you just click add a new page add a new page and you can delete delete it's really really good and this little bo icon in the bottom left this then lets you get all creative so let me go back to that one I've just created for you guys so you can see me doing it from scratch oh, it didn't save so let's start it again so we need the dimensions of 1242 pixels by 2208 design there we go so we've got our blank board now you can do click that button again let's create a background so you've got colors you can play with if you have the free version i have the um pro version that comes up to work you can it doesn't really matter it doesn't affect you because it really gives you um good freebies so let's just go with an image let's go with the purple now we want to add a computer say so computer and then search and we look for a free one anything with a number one that means it's it's appeared for um bonus thing you, you you've got to pay for it so we want the free so there's one we're going to make it big now you can make these quite large um that will be perfect let's make it white so where you can see the black dot we're going to make that white and you can have green, you can have blue, you can have pink, you can have any colour. We'll keep it with the white. I'm happy with that. Let's add a new page. So it keeps everything the same, the same dimensions. So we're on to there. Let's now background. Go with the yellow. Now let's look for a book. Go back and type in the search. Not back, book. Search. And there's the book I used. So let's make it a little bit bigger so it stands out when we put it onto our screen onto instagram click the green let's have it white again or you could have it orange blue you can have whatever color you like let's stick with the white 
again, add new page. So you go on every time you want to think about something, what you want as a cover. Now, when you've done those, you are simply going to download. You can do them a page at a time. So you can options. If you click the publish all pages and then you could just do page one. It's very, it's, it's brilliant. So download an image. As you can see, it's downloading now. And this is me using the iPad. It would be the same as um, using your Android or anything. It would just save to gallery. So now we're going to use the square with the arrow up. That's now going to save it to my iPad. And we're done. So, okay, we're happy with all that. We've done save. Just pretend we've downloaded all our images to our iPad or phone, whatever. We now, that's us done in Canva. We now go back to Instagram. So let's pop up there. Now, as you can see, I've already started with the FM world. Now, let me just show you. This is what you would do. This is your story um, where you can see your little your person, your, yourself. As you can see, I've already added some earlier. And I'm going to show you how you would move them over to, to your folders in a minute. So let's just go and create those folders. Um, you can in, upload them individually. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Right, so we're going to see what says new and the plus, we are going to click on that. We now are going to put the YouTube one in there. So let's find the YouTube. That one, click next. And I'm going to call this, all in capitals, because that's how I liked it, <laughs> YouTube. Add. So there, now you can see I've got FM World, I've got YouTube. I really don't want that now because that's that's gone out of alignment, isn't it, with my colours. So let's delete it. Yes. We need a pink one or something. So let's add a new. Let's go with uh, let's go with the I don't know, let's have a look. I don't know now. Let me go with put the freebie in there. Next. So I'm gonna call that freebie. Add. Now I'll put my YouTube because I, I want those further across. I don't want those to be seen first. So that's why um, I've done it that way. I can go in and edit them, you know, that change the colours and things like that. Um, back in Canva. Totally easy. And you can re-upload. Add. Okay, so the next one, we are going to have Facebook group. I'm going to call this training. Or should we call it support? We'll call it support. Add. As you can see now, it's already starting to look so much better. Then we are going to have the last one, which is my blog. Because that's, uh, oh no, I've got my books. We'll put the books on. Then I'm going to end it with the blog because I want people to go over to my blog first. Huh, because I'm talking about it. And it um, must read. I don't think that will go on. Let's just put books. Because it only allowed so many letters. And then we'll put the my blog on. Um, blog. Add. Then my last one is going to be about me. So let's put on that in there. Let's put my... Where did I have it before? Um, let's have a look. I think I need to add it to my story. Let's add it to my story. This is a good way to show you how to get that onto you, to move them over. Okay, so let's add. Let's find my images. Oh, going the wrong way there. There we go. We're going to have that. I'm going to have it as my story. This is how you would you would add something. Um, add to your story. Now, I want that. As a, as a new um, highlight cover, but I, I could actually add that into books. If it was a book I just took a photo of, and that would be a great content as well as you took a photo of you reading a book, um, put it to your story, and move it over to your relevant photo album, and just keep doing that. And then eventually you're gonna have loads of images and content saved forever, because you've saved it as a highlight for people to, to see. So you could do it with products, you could have a product album, you could have a before and after album. So let's just see if we can now, there we go, I'm there. So let's add, next. I'm gonna call this me. 
and let's just put yeah i'll just leave it as me i can edit it let's put a little wavy hand let's have a look there we go add there we go so now if i go you know for like family days out anything about me behind the scenes or whatever i want i would just add it to my story click that little heart button highlight and you would move it over to whichever album that you wanted it to go in and that's it so now you can see i have a really nice professional looking um highlight reel the people who come over to my instagram can click and um see all the content i've been putting together on instagram filing it in those um sections and they can get value from that as well so that's going to help increase your followers as well so i hope you've enjoyed that and learned something about it any questions just let me know comment um on the video and this will be uploaded on the youtube you'll get it in the let's get social facebook group everywhere um, you'll probably find this so you won't never be stuck to do it so happy getting creative bye